Johnny Kilbane was born in 1889 in Cleveland. Uh, he had a pretty difficult early life. His mother died when he was only three. Um, his father became blind at a very young age. So at a very young age, Johnny had to uh, drop out of school to support his family. As was the case with a lot of uh, kids growing up in the, in the rough parts of Cleveland at that time, um, boxing was a way of life. Not so much as a formal sport, but just as a way to survive in the neighborhood. So in February um, of 1912, in Vernon, California, Johnny fought for the featherweight championship of the world. It was a 20 round fight, um, very hot. Um, but at the end, it was very clear that Johnny was the, the, the champion of the world, the best fighter. Um, and he went on to hold that featherweight title for almost 12 years, um, which even to this day is a record for the longest uh, championship run uh, in any weight class. So after Johnny won the championship, he stayed in California for a couple weeks um, and then made his way back to Cleveland. There was a snowstorm that he encountered in Kansas City, and his trip got delayed a day or two. As luck would have it, he then arrived in Cleveland on St. Patrick's Day in 1912. At that time, there was over 200,000 people that were there to greet him when the train came into downtown Cleveland and lined the streets all the way out to his house um, near West 73rd and Herman. So Johnny Cobain was Cleveland's first great champion. Not only was he the world's featherweight champion for 12 years, but he was a great family man and represented the area in politics up until his death in 1957.